Hey YouTube, it's FireWizard23 here again. I just wanted to finish and wrap up the remainder of the questions that people sent me for my Q&A that I got in the second video. Let's see here. If you somehow do manage to get Dungeon Keeper running, would you be interested in having a guest commentator? Absolutely love that game as a kid and kind of want to get into LPing, so I figured trying to tag along would be interesting. Um, wouldn't mind having a co-commenter. Um... The big thing about co-commentary, it really has to be somebody I'm familiar with. I mean, I don't... I usually just don't jump into co-commenting with somebody I don't know. So, uh, that is kind of a thing I have to just kind of put out there as a proviso. Uh, what types of music do you listen to? Um, <laughs> I hate to put the proviso out that I'm gay again, but I do like... I really think with a good beat, though I am... A, I am... Um, drawn to soft rock and disco music. I do like those. Uh, what made you get your dog? Um, it's not my dog. Uh, these are my sister, my sister, my brother-in-law's dogs. Uh, we have two Shih Tzus, Bailey and Lacey, and we have a Brussels Griffon that we found in the dumpster of the supermarket where my sister works. He was abandoned. We only found him just a couple weeks ago. We there was there was some kind of shivering or wheezing or wheezing hurt inside the can in the garbage bin and there was the Brussels Griffon that we, we've discovered his name is Fred that was completely abandoned so we adopted him and now we have three dogs uh, will we ever see another Mario LP you said you might do one on Super Mario World uh maybe I don't know I'm sorry I'm just really really tired right now and uh it depends it depends if I'm feeling up to it at some point uh we have a comment regarding we have a comment regarding ROMs. Someone mentions uh, <laughs> from teacher to McDonald's. Interesting career path. Uh, teacher to Burger King. I didn't work at McDonald's. <laughs> I wouldn't work at McDonald's. I don't. If you go to this, at least the ones where I am, you go to McDonald's, you go to Burger King. I mean, there's such an obvious difference in how they're de in their structure. I, Burger King, and I still agree with this. Burger King really has a much better structure in how it operates. And it's a very clean restaurant. It really is. Uh, when you use Skype to do LPs with other people, how do you broadcast your screen for them? Do you use the built-in screen sharing function or something else entirely? There is a screen sharing function built into Skype that you can use. I also used... Oh, God, what was it called? Late Blight knows what it is. There was some program he gave me. I don't think Skype always had that capability... Or he didn't know about it when we did it, but there was another thing he gave me where you could give that person, like, your IP address. I, I'm sorry, I'm completely failing on what the program was, but you could give him, like, your IP address, and he would let you do a share. Uh, could you repeat the title of your book, please? I didn't exactly catch what you said. I think I'll check it out. Uh, the Twin Blades and the Doom Chasm Brigands. If you go to Amazon and type in Twin Blades, T W I N B. L A D E S. You you should come up with a title by. You should come up with a title by Charles Howard Spring. That's me, and you will find that's my book. Uh, what is your favorite genre of books and or video games? As for books, I really like fantasy. I'm not a big fan. I am really not a big fan of books that deal with real with real historical figures. I I hate those kind of books. I hate period books. I don't. I, I just, I don't find, I find the fantastical interesting. I don't find, there's really not a lot of books that deal with history that I like. It really is the fantasy and the science fiction that I'm really uh, into. Oh, here's another one. I'm sorry, that was a yawn. I really am exhausted, but I'll get through this. Don't worry. I, uh. I'd still watch a Pokemon LP by you, even if there are a million of them already out because of the freedom of it. It's interesting to see what people, what Pokemon people like to use. For my question, have you ever considered doing a blind LP without someone commenting and helping you? Generally, no. And the reason I say this is I think it does take away from the quality of the LP. I don't think that... I believe the best LPs you can ever do are games you can actually either eight games you just love playing and games you can actually beat. I put that together. I, I think it's not really interesting to watch a game where basically the guy doesn't know what they're doing. 
I, I don't think that's really interesting to watch. I mean, I'm watching Luca Jen right now do Quest for Glory 3. I don't think I'd have as much fun watching her if I didn't know she knew what she was doing. Because otherwise we'd run to this wall where like, oh, I gotta figure out what I'm doing, da 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 and it's like, well, you know, what, what did you start playing? And I, I, I'm not trying to criticize anybody who does that, but it's just like, I don't... That's why some of my LPs I just stopped doing, because it's like, you know, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't beat this game. Um, have you ever thought about doing some Machinima-style videos? Um, to be told, I don't really know how to do it. I, I kind of have an idea what Machinima is, you know, just kind of making fun of just pre-created things from video games. But generally, I, I really wanted to get into doing videos like that, like doing, like, commentary-style videos. I would like to know just how they do it, and I've never really known how, because I've actually had a couple ideas here and there of things I'd like to do, but I just don't know how to do it. All right, so that does it for these Q&A videos. Uh, next time, we will be getting back to finishing up my current LP of Pokemon the Trading Card Game, and I'll see you later. Take care, and bye-bye for now.